Hello, welcome to part six, I think this is, of my um, playthrough of Galactic Civilizations 3. Um, I've not played the game before, just in case this isn't the first one, or this is the first video you've seen of the series. Um, if you've played the game before, you probably won't learn that much from my playing, because as I say, this is totally a first look at the game. I have looked at the manual and then just started playing. Um, most people don't even look at the manual, I know. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube as well, um, but basically uh, I am just playing the game. And maybe, actually, I should turn up the sound effects a bit, because I, I hear there's a little bit of rumbling and stuff there. Maybe I can do that, because it's been a bit quiet, hasn't it, in the previous ones. Sound effects volumes. Let's make them up. Music I've disabled because YouTube doesn't like it. So there's a bit of rumbling. You can hear my computer humming away anyway, probably, because this microphone that I've got is super sensitive. The previous one um, heard stuff from the front, but this one hears stuff from everywhere, so that's it. Right, so what's happening? Idle ship, let's go there. Oh, yes. I'm building up some fleets just for the sake of it, really. Um, I've got to do something. There's a command button down here off the bottom of the screen. Um, let me just move it so you can see temporarily. That's the bottom of the screen. This is your next turn or whatever's happening right at the moment. You click that to get to the idle ship or do the research or whatever it's prompting you about. And here are the commands for the selected object. So you can guard whatever it's, it's space, but I think you get a better strategic view from the top of the screen. I'm afraid my aspect ratio, or the aspect ratios the game can do, don't seem to match YouTube, at least on my computer. Possibly if I had a, a 1910 by 1080 screen, um, I could do full screen recording. Um, but as it is, I'm doing this in a window on a 1280 by 1024 machine, and the game does not have uh, 1280 by 720 or whatever is required, so there you go. It's close, I've got 768, but it's not quite right. Idle ship again, where are we? It's it's not scrolling very smoothly, this computer has quite a good graphics card, and yet it's it's struggling here. So, okay, this, this ranger, let's just command it to explore, shall we? This is the one I've just built, so I guess it's moved. Next. Yeah, it's quite good moves. And I'm looking for places to colonise, I suppose. I think I might be suffering from some sort of overreach. Um, but I'm in the lead in terms of points, but I'm playing on the basic or beginner's level. That's me, hooray! I'm basically, I think, ahead on everything. Comic power, military power, just about. Just because I've got two fleets. <laughs> they got blown up there, and look what difference it made. Because these are puny little fleets, I think. Um, now, influence. The Altarians are ahead. I know. That was population. Right. Influence, raw production, manufacturing, research. Alright, so I'm behind really on population, but I'm doing more efficiently generally. So, I mean, I don't know really what I'm supposed to be trying to do except obviously conquer the universe or something. But, uh, shipyard idle on Earth. Well, let's build another one of these guys, you can see, you can, can start exploring, can't you? Um, build another colony ship. I think I might have some freighter points. Do I have some trade points? I don't know where to look to see them. But it'll tell me if I can't, and if I can't, I can upgrade the ship to another colony ship. I just want to colonise loads of worlds and I don't know what, do the best I can. 
upgrade starbase is the next button. Um, I'm trying to make them all funky. Bizuk. It would be nice if I could switch out of the screen. Well, I can, I suppose, and see what it what is happening. Let's just say say done and see where we are. I mean, I don't know where Bizuk is. Hunter. It's one of these new guys, isn't it? Bizuk, Freya, Byzantium. How do I go back to it if I can't even find the darn thing? All right. Where are the heck he is? Well, if I double click on a planet, oh, double click on one of my planets, perhaps, then I can find biz 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 -uk. whatever it is. This way. There's probably a better ways to do it. Oh. Mm. Right. Oh well, I have probably have to go to a starbase. Actually, let's find a starbase. Oh, there it is. Bingo. It's near the border, so let's have a cultural forum. And request more updates. Thank you. Idle colony hunter is again. Well, it's not fully developed. Don't I have a shipyard already in space? Mm -hmm. End of turn. Starbase needs to be upgraded. So some more defences then. Whoosh. Okay. Idle ship. That's the range I've just built. There we go. You can zoom right in, it's quite quite amazing really. A cosmic zoom here, whoosh. Go and explore. Command button, explore. Which I guess it will do next turn. Yeah. Another idle ship. Ah, it's another ranger. Okay, I just sent him out here generally, didn't I? So, is this a squirrel? Well, Bristow. Oh, we're in Drengin space, are we? I think. Explore. Research. Now I'm doing my colonising stuff, and I prefer to see it in the tree form, to be honest. Um, colonisation. Small reclamation allows almost useless terrain. This. So it can go so far, but I'll put a click on that. I'm supposing it'll do the prerequisites along the way. So turn, yeah.
Ooh, I have a colony ship. Pop a load of guys on it. Done. And let's go and see that ship. Now where on earth am I going to colonise? Well, not on earth, I suppose. <laughs> Somewhere else. Let's go there. It's quite close to home. Might as well. Oof. Super zoom, yes. Idle colony. That'll be Hunter, presumably. I hope. Timandius Rex 3. Mm -hmm. A lot of research. Because it's... And yet that has plus two to influence. Oh. Tourism income, yeah. Okay. Well, a lot of tourism, right. I might as well reclaim some more. What's this, another? I don't have any planetary defence systems here yet. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Cancel. Put a planetary defence system there. Must have that everywhere. Now then, soil engineering. Where do I want to improve? There. 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 Oh, I'm not. I'm not building. I've got to hit build. Right. Build. Terraforming plant. Build. Habitat improvement. Build. That's basically it. Isn't it first planet really. Should. Well, that's where I am. Okay, good. I was thinking that's not the one I'm going to colonise. This is the one I'm going to colonise. Halden B1. Yes. Massive radiation, so mutations are a problem. Leave the colonists be benevolent. The sight of these mutations are pretty upsetting. And trade is beginning to suffer. What are your orders? Leave them alone, poor devils. Right. Begin encouraging colonists to be more discreet in their dress and demeanour. They can all wear the hijab or whatever it is, can't they? Um, this is disgusting. These freaks will have to learn how to get along. Oh, here we are. Begin encouraging the development of a hood and cloak economic sector. Oh, yes, I was going to... Use my my biased pen <laughs> to see what what it is. I've got a six. I don't know. I, I must have a six-sided dice, but it's downstairs. So there you go. My pen. I'm going to roll it, and it's four. Number four for a change. This is the middle. Two, four, six. Right. So pragmatic. Let them be discreet, but. Uh, more pragmatism points here. And here is the planet. What have we got? Wasteland, barely usable. Ancient ruins. Let's take advantage of the two bits, I suppose, which are... Build. 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 That's our tourism hub. Okay. Now up here, good for blowing things up. So let's stick a planetary defence system in here and a military academy here. Now well, what if I build it here? Yeah, it's better there.
factory there, there. Okay. Research lab, might as well go there. Let's stick a market there. Let's waste some money, eh? Hey? See if we can build, 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 and build. Taking all this stuff down, so that'll keep it busy for a few years, won't it? Population is going up, up, up. Freighter can be launched. I don't know where I can see my trade possibilities, but it's idle colony. Hunter has done all its stuff now, but I can do some habitat improvements somewhere. I presume that's the freighter. Or is it here? Yeah. But where should I freight to? Are these the squirrels? I don't think they're the squirrels. I was wanting to wish upon a two. Well, let's see if I can send this freighter to, to here. Yeah. I don't know if I have a, a trade route available or not. I had a feeling I did. This world is a bit isolated, but... Not much I can do about it really, is there? And nothing much happened that turn, I think. I've sort of, in my mind, set myself a strategy of increasing my money, and that is clearly working. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I should try a bit of diplomacy, actually. I have a snuggler colony. I could sell to them. <laughs> they'll go and sell it onto my enemies, that's what I'm concerned about, but it's good to diploma a bit with these guys. Medium holes, yeah. Almost good enough? Well, alright. Give me some money. That's what I'm saving it up for. Perhaps. See, I'm thinking I'll trade for the things I'm not researching. Use the money that way. Who are these? Oh, wacky guys. Let's have a look at them. These people do not have much, do they? They can give me some money, I suppose. Is that it? Blimey, alright. I'm hoping this will also improve relations a bit. Hmm. So with the radar beams, or 
it, I suppose, because it's an alien. Uh, presumably not human, I don't know. It looks a bit similar if you ask me. Diplomacy could be much, much, very important. Okay. Should do trade more often, it's a way of getting free stuff, isn't it, really? Unfriendly. Opposing ideologies. And I'm trading with an infidel, so they don't like me. Well, hard luck. Let's see if we can come to a trade agreement with you lot, then. Zero. See if they can give me some low cost missiles. I could buy ships off them, I? interesting hmm. some mercenary fleet if I'm rich enough maybe these guys are um, they look like girls more than guys don't they but it's hard to tell I suppose looks like they nuked their planet sometime in the past doesn't it um, Who needs to research and I could just buy it? Huh? Mm. Same as in Civilization 4, if you make enough money you can just trade, but of course you don't get in advance of other people necessarily. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at these guys, eh? This will help them to be nasty, which they must like, so there we go then. I should have some new ships at the end of this, and maybe I can build some decent warships. Get it all. I can 
trying to give away the least valuable things, but it's hard to tell, really. So I have now a ton of resources. Oh, sorry. Of technologies, that's the word. United Planets, hooray! I have 25% of the votes. Mm. I can leave the United Planets. Mm. Very nice. Now where's this idle shipyard? Hunter! Do I have some new ships? Not yet. Maybe next turn. Mm. Built to invade unfriendly planets. Hmm. Well, what's wrong with an idle shipyard? Can I turn it off? Decommission, I can turn it off altogether, yes. Shut down. Production is currently underway. Well, um, well one, one, two, three. I don't have the requisites to buy those. One, two, three. Let's just try that. Okay. Done. Keep it busy for a while. I don't know what I was planning to do with this constructor. Hmm. Well, let's go somewhere and build a star base if I don't have one. I can always use a bit more durantium, can't I? Upgrade that star base. And send a constructor there for the next upgrade. Fantastic. Juma is now the idle colony. But I can upgrade the soil. Um, I can't upgrade there, what a shame. Oh, but I can terraform there. Because it'd be nice to stick another factory there. military base up there, eventually. The military Academy, Embassy.
do that one because there's some choice. I can put. I can have a choice about what to put in there and here as well. What's a Hyperion shrinker? Hmm. And that's the end of that turn according to the button which is just off the screen here, down here. And the Earth shipyard is now idle, but I have a whole bunch of new ships now. That's more like it. Whoa. Uh, in fact, there's so many. Uh, Let's see what we've got. Four bombs. Two bullets and three missiles. An improved survey ship. But my own ranger is better. An improved explorer. Still, my ranger is better. Battle axe. Nine missiles. Good. Eight bombs. Eight bullets, a mixture, 342, small salt vehicle, hmm. Corvette, 12 missiles, oh, that's mine, oh, a new Ranger M1 with 12 miss and 12 bombs, that's pretty good, Zippo defense, not much defense, mind you, oh, neither is that, ah, interesting, so it's upgraded my Design law, maybe it's uh, one of their own, I don't know. So, the, obviously, I've got to have some of these missiles, bombs, and bullets. I don't know if I'm going to invade, but I, I'm going to have the troops ready. <clears throat> Idle Colony Hunter. Can I reclaim some more? Appears to be it. Idle ship somewhere. This is sniper. Hmm. A mini ship. What's this ship they are building? I thought it was idle. Mm. Oh, okay, right, it's one of them, right. Okay, well, let's. I can form a rally point, can't I? Somewhere. Ah, oh, rally point. I have to set the destination like that? I don't understand. Cancel. Can I not set a rally point like in space? Can 
Oh, I see, I get a little icon if there's a defending fleet, that's nice. Okay, so... I'll just go there then, I don't know. What? Why is the rally point not just somewhere in space? Like this hex. How peculiar. Right. Wally, Wally. I forgot to request a constructor there. And I was right, it needs some more influence to push back these purple borders. From the pests of the West. Research. Fantastic. Should I not? Well, I could be looking at other things, but let's push on with this colonization for now until I have to do something else. So I don't know what kind of worlds I want radiation, radioactive ones really, but let's just do that, whatever. Oh. I fancy frozen worlds, eh? Hunter is idle yet again, hooray! It doesn't take long, does it? any more buildings for the time being so let's make more money and in a while we'll do some more diplomacy perhaps oh that was quick hmm. culture ring yeah build oh maybe I didn't do that properly range I think. Let's see what's in here. Bippin. Churning them out, I think. Only have two shipyards in my whole empire, and yet my power is way up there. Not so way up there when I compare with those guys. Is this due to culture? I 
or whatever they call it, influence. What's this first capital ship? I've just built one. Okay, I, I presume. Idle colony. Murray 3. Well, they haven't done much with it, but have they? What's this thing? Delicious fruit. Mmm. Entertainment module here then. Now I suppose that's what I'm supposed to do. Entertainment module. Maybe I'm supposed to stick uh, an embassy there. It's just four, you see. If I put the embassy here, that's what he want. So I should be sticking embassies in that thing, or consulates. Doesn't matter. Manufacturing cores, doing fruits growth, maintenance. Embassies better. Ideal for building farms. Let's build one then. Is that it? One? Hmm. Some of these are worth placing on some of my major planets, I think, like the Earth. They look like they're one per player after all, so... Leave it till later and we'll see how it goes. So what's this place I've just got? Where is it? Surrounded by influential places, I think. Oh, it's close to Earth. Right, yeah. Hmm. Glad I got that then. And can I? I can indeed. Make a technological capital. Uh, 
want to do that one. Um, what are the other things available? power has gone up dramatically with the mention of these things. And I can turn them out like crazy by the looks of it. End of turn. Vital calling. I should probably be looking at these things to see what, it's, what the planet's good at. Um, but I guess they like the entertainment here. Eight, eight of them. <laughs> Large Empire penalty, 18 points from squashing that totally. Not much net income. Whether that's the right thing to be doing with it, I don't know. Culture would perhaps help. Maybe I can stick a couple of cultural buildings on here when the time comes. my exploration going. Should I be building more? Ooh. It's 
a trade route there, is there as well? What does it show me? Nothing. That's the Altarians, not mine. Star, Starbase could usefully go there. Oh, I'm building a couple anyway, so okay, done. Oh, they're, they're probably requested. Let's build a spare one. Hello. thing. It's going to build that wonder there basically. Does it recommend a particular spot for me? No. doing? Conquest victory 57%. How come? <laughs> One of four. Hmm. But I must actually defeat them. Yeah, all right. Influence victory. So I'm closest to that. Just the raw power, I suppose. Hmm. I think that's a long way off. Ninety-seven out of five thousand points. Hmm. Must ally with the remaining major races. Hmm. Could try it, I suppose. See how it goes, of course. Ally or destroy. Hmm, I can't trade with them again at the moment. Okay. Where are the annoying purple guys here? Uh, it's too soon. I can't do anything much at the moment. Okay. So much for diplomacy. Can I do anything here? So it's only every now and then you can do this. All right. mm, okay. Trade more each time than I do it then. Ooh. Oh.
helpful dust. A cloud of dust has emerged out of deep space, seemingly around every planet at once. Consisting of semi-sentient nanobots or visitors from a different galaxy, they immediately begin assess assisting with any and all orbital construction projects underway, helping all races equally, regardless of their motivations. Plus 20% military spending, all races. Ooh, ooh. Idle ship, sentry then, right? Idle ship, sentry. What idle ship? I don't know. Done. I have no idle ships. What's this guy? One of these is idle. Okay, well, I told it to guard. Well, which of one it was, I don't know. Sentry didn't seem to do it. Probably because there's one of these guys here. Ooh, I've got another planet. Ho 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 ho. Is this like. Why have I annexed it? Conquest victory or what? What's going on? Why am I annexing these planets? Where's this idle colony anyway? Let's just pop out of here and let's see it. Wasn't this always mine anyway? Oh, did they, did they go and jump into my system? Oh, rotters, eh? Not supposed to do that. And that is the end of part six, is it? I think. Of Galactic Civilizations 3. So I will see you hopefully in part seven. If you're keen enough to follow this game all the way through. Save. Bye for now.